All right, in the last two lessons, we've solved two by two systems of differential equations using the elimination method. Today, we're going to use the elimination method to solve a three by three system of differential equations. All right, so the first thing to do is to put, the, put these equations into operator form. So here we have the derivative of x minus x, so that's going to be d minus 1 times x uh, minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. This second equation, we're going to get uh, negative x plus the derivative of x or of y uh, minus z is equal to 0. And then on the bottom, we get we, uh, negative 4x uh, plus 4y plus uh, the derivative of z minus 5z is equal to 0. All right, so now we have this system of equations in operator form. And what we want to do next is turn this into a system, a 2 by 2 system with just x and y. And we'll have two equations down here. The first equation will come from combining these two equations so that z is eliminated. And the second equation will come from combining these two equations so that z is eliminated. All right, to eliminate z from these first two equations, all we have to do is add them together because z plus negative z is going to give us 0. So d minus 1 plus negative 1x is going to give us d minus 2x. Negative 2y plus dy is going to be d minus 2y. And then the z's add to 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. All right, now in order to get the z's to be eliminated from these second two equations, we're going to need to multiply the second equation by d minus 5. That way we get negative d minus 5z plus d minus 5z, and the z's will go away. So d minus 5 uh, times negative 1 is negative d plus 5 minus 4 is going to be uh, negative d plus 1, which I'm going to write as negative d minus 1, put that negative out front, uh, times x. And then d minus 5 times d is d squared minus 5d, and then plus 4y. So d squared minus 5d plus 4 times y is equal to 0. All right. Now, at this point, what I want to do is I want to write this uh, back in this form for a couple of reasons. One is I want to just kind of stop to think about what we've done so far. And also, I'm going to want to save this system of equations uh, for later, for when we want to uh, solve our next, uh, solve for our next variable after we've, we've done our first variable here. So let's, uh, let's turn over to this side and write out what this means. So this is the derivative of x minus 2x plus the derivative of y minus 2y is equal to 0. So we'll write that as x prime minus 2x uh, plus y prime minus 2y is equal to 0. And then down here we have negative x prime uh, plus x plus y double prime, the second derivative of y, minus 5 times the derivative of y plus 5y prime plus 4y is equal to 0. Sorry, this should be minus 5y prime. All right, so this is the, the system of equations that we've created here. And I'm going to save that for later. For right now, let's go ahead and, um, and eliminate one of our variables here. The variable that I'm going to want to eliminate here is x. And uh, let me show you why. Remember when we were... 
solving our two by two differential equations. We first solved for one of our variables, and then we had a shortcut method for solving for the second variable. And that shortcut method involved uh, combining these two equations so that the derivatives of that variable uh, disappear completely. And notice that if we add these two equations together, the derivatives of x will go away completely. We're, we'll just be left with x and then derivatives of y. Um, so what I want to do is eliminate x first and solve for y, because then we'll be able to use our shortcut method to solve for x. All right. So um, solving for y here, let's go ahead and, and eliminate these x's. That's going to be uh, this times this. So we'll get negative d minus 1 times d minus 2y um, minus this times this. So d minus 2 times, um, let me go ahead and factor this. This is going to factor to d minus 1 times d minus 4 is equal to 0. All right, now um, let's put all of this together into, into one term, and we can do that by uh, factoring out. Well, let's first multiply the whole thing by negative 1 just to get rid of those negatives. And then we've got a d minus 1 and a d minus 2 here, a d minus 1 and a d minus 2 here. If we factor that out, uh, we'd be left with y plus uh, d minus 4 times y. I suppose I could have factored out the y as well. But um, notice that this y, 1y plus d minus 4y, is uh, d minus 3y. So we can replace this with d minus 3y. And now we have a third order differential equation. Um, if you notice that if we if we multiplied all of these together, we'd get uh, d times d times d would be d cubed. That would be the third derivative of y. So this is a third order differential equation. Um, and we are and notice that it's a homogeneous equation. So that's going to be nice. This is going to be relatively easy to solve. We're going to keep it in this form. And um, it's kind of nice in this form because our auxiliary equation, d minus 3 times y equals 0. Um, our auxiliary equation is going to be really simple. It's just going to be r minus 1 times r minus 2 times r minus 3 is equal to 0. That's, it's already factored for us. So we know that r is equal to 1 or 2 or 3. Um, all right, so that means that y is equal to some constant times e to the 1t plus another constant times e to the 2t plus a third constant times e to the 3t. And that's y. So let's let's go ahead and put um, put our y up here. So y of t is equal to c1 e to the t plus c2 e to the 2t plus c3 e to the 3t. All right. And we can start to box this in. That's the first of our three solutions. All right, now to find x, um, let's go back over to this system of equations that we created here. And uh, remember, we're trying to get rid of the derivatives of x. And we can do that by adding these two equations together. So if we add these together, x prime and negative x prime add to 0. And we're left with negative 2x plus x is negative x. Uh, then we get... Uh, plus the second derivative of y, uh, plus y prime, minus, um, 
minus 5y prime, so that's minus 4y prime, um, minus 2y plus 4y, so that's plus 2y is equal to 0. All right, now, now I can get rid of this, and, uh, and we can solve for x here. So x is going to be equal to uh, y double prime minus 4y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. All right, so uh, now we just need to figure out what uh, y prime and y double prime are. We know what y is, so uh, y prime it's going to be the derivative of this, which is C1e to the t plus 2C2e to the 2t plus 3C3e to the 3t. And then the second derivative will be C1e to the t plus 4C2e to the 2t plus uh, 9C3e to the 3t. So there's our, um, our, our y, we've got our y, we've got our y prime, we've got our y double prime, we can plug that into here and solve for x. So um, let me kind of cheat here uh, just to give myself some more room. I'm going to replace this y double prime with x. So x equals uh, y double prime minus 4 times y prime, so minus 4c1e to the t um, minus 4 uh, times this, so minus 8c2e to the 2t minus 12c3e to the 3t um, plus 2 times our uh, y, so plus 2 uh, c1e to the t um, plus 2c2e to the 2t plus 2 times c3e to the 3t. Now we can um, we can add all of these together and so x of t it's going to be equal to, if we combine our like terms here, this is 1 minus 4 is negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So negative 1, C1, E to the T. Here we have 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, C2, E to the 2T. And then 9 minus 12 is negative 3 plus 2, negative 1, C3, E to the 3T. All right. We're two thirds of the way done, and now um, notice that uh, we can rewrite this equation in terms of z. We can say z is going to be equal to um, negative x plus uh, plus y prime. And uh, so z is equal to uh, negative x. So x is all of this. So negative x is going to be c1 e to the t plus 2 c2 e to the 2t plus c3 e to the 3t. And to that, we're going to add y prime. I erased y, y prime here, but uh, we can do this pretty easily. Y prime is going to be C1 e to the t plus 2 C2 e to the 2t uh, plus 3 C3 e to the 3t. So combining these together we're going to get that z is equal to uh, add these two together, you get 2C1e to the t. Add those together, you get 4C2e to the 2t. And add those together, you get 4C3e uh, to the 3t. 
And now we've solved for all three variables.